My name is Nathan Klaus. I'm a senior wildlife biologist with Georgia Department of Natural Resources Wildlife Conservation. And uh, we're at Tulula Gorge State Park in a burn unit. One of our primary objectives for management on the site is to restore woodlands. And a lot of people have heard that term, but they may not know what the difference is between a woodland and a forest. A forest is what we started with, and it's essentially a closed canopy, dark sort of place where there's a lot of leaf litter and maybe pine needles on the ground, but there isn't a lot of green things down low where a lot of our wildlife need them. And through the use of repeated prescribed fire on this site, we have restored a woodland. What that required was fires that were hot enough to actually kill trees, um, not big trees, but kill the mid-story. And so if you look behind me, you can see that it's very park-like. It's really almost inviting. It's a sort of place where you'd like to take a walk. It's not thick. It's not um, difficult to see through it. And so that's, a, that's essentially one of the elements of a woodland. Another part is that it's, it does have some open canopy. So if you look behind me, you can see how much sunlight's hitting the ground. And um, that having that sunlight hit the ground allows the ground cover, the plants that are maybe two or three feet tall, to green up and to grow and to essentially exist down there. When it's a dark, shady forest, those plants won't, won't be there. That's really important for everything from monarch butterflies that are uh, found throughout Georgia, including here on Tulula Gorge State Park. If you're gonna grow milkweed, the milkweed needs sunlight. Well, we've got milkweed all around us right here and it's creating habitat for them to lay eggs on, for their caterpillar to, to go to, to, to eat and to go through metamorphosis. And then when they hatch, we've got all sorts of things blooming behind us that are good for um, pollinators, including monarchs. So we've got this beautiful um, Coreopsis here next to me that's a great pollinator plant. It's got all sorts of nectar for bees and flies and wasps and, and even monarchs. We've got an interesting little white flower. It's one of our native spurges that's all throughout this area. And these are plants that are not just important for pollinators, they're important for um, other wildlife species too. So um, the, the, some of the caterpillars that might be on these plants might actually get eaten by things like songbirds or turkeys. The seeds that are produced by these plants after they finish flowering are important food sources from everything from chipmunks to rough grouse to uh, chipping sparrows. Um, and then if you look behind me, most of what you see that's green, all this, this blanket of green that goes up the mountain is actually blueberries. And blueberries love sunlight. And um, the more sun they get, the more likely they are to fruit and flower. And so now you've got flowers on the blueberries that are great for pollinators and fruit that are really good for the wildlife as well. And so by putting fire in here, including some hot fires, and by killing some trees, some of the small and even some, a few of the canopy trees, we've created an open woodland forest that's so much better for the wildlife that we're trying to conserve on this site.